Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to make some awesome stuffed baked clams. Great for the holidays. You guys are going to love this recipe. Okay, first we start out, add some olive oil to a frying pan. Okay, put that on the medium heat. Then we're going to add one cup of finely diced carrots. One cup of finely diced celery. One cup of finely diced onions. And about four, four or five cloves of diced garlic. Mix that all together, start to saute it, and you want to do that for a bit until the onions start to turn clear. And once the onions turn clear, you want to add a nice pinch of salt. Then we're going to put in some nice fresh crushed black pepper. some dried basil leaves and some dried oregano you want to mix that in Now we're going to add about a, a quarter cup of some of the clam juice. Let the vegetables steam in the clam juice, just adds extra flavor. Okay, you just saute it till everything starts to get soft. Okay, at this point, turn off the heat. Now you're gonna add two cans of drained baby clams. Drain the juice, put it on the side before you add them. Okay, then mix them in. Okay, you're going to mix the clams in well. Then we're going to add a cup and a quarter of breadcrumbs and a half a cup of grated Romano cheese. Mix all that in really good. Okay, now we're going to add a nice, maybe a quarter cup of fresh chopped parsley and mix that in. So now you have the vegetables, the clams, the breadcrumbs, grated cheese, parsley. Mix all of that in together so the, the mix is, is nice and consistent. 
and it's ready to put into the shells. Now when you put it in the shells, you don't want to pack it in there, okay? You want to lay it in there, let it just fall in there, you know, pretty loosely. You don't want to pack it in. Okay, so just keep filling the shells. Like I said, don't pack it in there, just lay it in there loosely. And this mix should get you about two dozen well-stuffed clams. Lay it in there nice. Make sure they're good and full, but don't actually pack it in there. You want it to be somewhat loose. As it cooks, it's gonna shrink down, and if you pack it too tight in the beginning, it's just gonna, it's not gonna taste right. You want it to be kind of a, a fluffy mix. That will work best. At this point, you're going to want the oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're going to bake these for about 20 minutes at 350. Now you're going to take the clam juice that you drained from the clams and you're going to add them back. Try to put an even amount in each shell. This will ensure that the clams, when they're cooked, everything is still nice and moist. Okay, make sure you have enough for every clam. Okay. Now, before you put the clams in the oven, we're going to take about a cup of water, okay, and we're going to add it to the pan, not the clams. You're going to add the water into the pan, so that'll also, while they're cooking, help keep the clams from drying out. All right, so. You're gonna put about a cup of water, but into the pan. Be sure not to put the water into the clams. And into the oven they go. Preheated 350 for about 20 minutes. Now, at 20 minutes, you're going to want to turn the oven to broil. And we're going to put the clams right under the broiler heating element for about five minutes just to toast the clams up. And this will be your end result. Amazing, delicious, moist, holiday baked clams. Try this recipe, guys. You will love it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Enjoy.